Hi, I'm Silvio, and it is finally time to tell you something about my new project, my 2023 Christmas Village. Almost at the end of April and still no news about it? My bad, I'm sorry, but I need to confess that I was completely drained mentally and physically after last season, where I wrongly planned everything and I was constantly behind schedule. Too much things to do, the training circus, etc. And many, many hours less than the previous season due to my job to uh, accomplish everything. So, in January 2023, I had no ideas, a completely blank screen every day in front of my eyes. Uh, very difficult to restart from scratch with a fresh new, with a fresh new project. So I passed uh, all January and the beginning of February uh, sketching something on some papers, trying to model something. Then some new ideas finally came to me. And I want to show you uh, what I decided to do with my 2023 Christmas village. I don't want to be so long, so let me get my uh, glasses, otherwise I am completely blind in front of the screen that I have in front of me right there. And let me switch to the screen and let's go with some explanation. Rhino 3D guys, or rhinoceros, and you know how much I love this 3D modeling software to start my projects and even the 2023 Christmas Village will start from here. In yellow or goldish, I have my standard plywood support, 180 centimeters by 180 centimeters or 70 inches by 70 inches. And I always start from there. Then I always lack space, so I add more panels, more plywood panels. Here, this is what? This is a polyline, the of course, but it is representing a sea coast, guys. A sea coast. Okay? Yes, I know. In this case, here I will have water, and that means having almost half of the initial surface occupied by water. I am crazy. Yes, I am. Craziest than ever. Yes. Sir, I am. And so here, plenty of water. Here, what is that? This is a stylized version of the giant fairy wheel I've restored some weeks ago, I think a couple of months ago. And you already know that because I told you that I want it in the far left corner on top of something strange that I don't know yet. Then here. This is a truncated cone, yes, but with that I want to symbolize a lighthouse, a big, giant, strange lighthouse. Maybe modeled in 3D because I don't know yet, or maybe I will start uh, directly from styrofoam, but it will be complicated as this is conical. And working on flat panels to obtain a conical uh, uh, building it will be challenging, but there, a big, strange, uh, in middle between past and future, and or present as this is Victorian era lighthouse. Water, yes. And for the first time, guys, I decided to plan to start planning only the first level. Then, in function of what I will achieve. I will add some more levels, two, three, four, maybe five or six levels. I don't know yet. But for the first time, guys, I will not plan the other levels. At least the dimension and the uh, form of the of all the levels. I will go from there. What I uh, am thinking of. 
and as I told you, it was it has been very difficult to restart from scratch af after the last uh, season. And uh, I want here in this area here some sort of fisherman's village, some sort of ancient and Victorian and still is some sort of Venice, but not as Venice, but different but with this surface occupied by a part of a city on top of water. Yes, this village will, be, will begin here in the water, my village, and then amplify and get into the land there, into the shore, into the uh, landscape, okay? But I will start here and then develop my village all along, maybe climbing the village climbing rocks, etc. Yes, crazy, difficult, uh, strange, but I will get from there. Do I have planted some? Yes, <laughs> I already started the base because uh, obviously buildings can't be placed on top of the water. So you can see there that I've named this level here uh, docks. Let me put it on, on, guys. This will be my modular starting. I will have some sort of three by one because I generally think that these three arcs by one arcs or this is three by three arcs. They are squared long. Then I will have some curved stair, and these will be modular, guys. So you can, I, I will be able to uh, amplify my village, uh, my seaside of the village as much as I want. Let me go deeper. I will use a 3D printer for that. This is always doable from my standard, standard 9mm styrofoam uh, panels, but it will take me so much time time. This will not be the focus, this will be as a sort of a support for all my buildings and all my uh, street furniture etc on top of the water. This is still, uh, so this is uh, pure wood, I simply applied some squared um, uh, forms and then add some arcs on top of that and it is symmetric also I can have I will print much of these I will surely not use 3D print obviously and I will use them as these uh, let me uh, switch on JJ there this is the dimension real dimension of JJ and those are the dimension of the docks and I will have also some uh, rowing uh, boats uh, uh, behind everything very crazy very crazy starting I know guys uh, uh, let's continue because I don't want this to be so long JJ there hi JJ you remember my <laughs> my uh, fighting monks from last season my companion that uh, were, was present all along the last season and uh, I will show you the new companion, the new couple of companions I will use, but I'm not there, I still uh, need to build them, but I've already modeled them. Okay, so uh, what else? I've already started modeling some of the uh, buildings. Let me explain what I want here, not just uh, some sort of support for uh, villagers there but let me switch on the fish house one like that guys maybe I will modify it because this is very tall guys I don't know maybe I will add to redimension it but I will have five six or seven different buildings all along this section plus the boats here the dock the docks for the uh, the boats for the galleons for I don't know yet this is just the starting point 
and uh, I will need to work very hard. But this will be some sort of houses. Th those will uh, remind you, as you can see, the arcs I used it there. But maybe I will model this with the 3D print. I don't know. Guys, in 2023, it's not mandatory, but <laughs> for adding some elements that no one has in your Christmas village or to um, make your ideas uh, tangent real you need a 3d printer a uh, FDM a filament printer or a resin printer it's up to you but it will help you those kinds of buildings are absolutely not in catalog from any 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 producer any uh, factory nor Lemax nor uh, Department 56 or anyone else. D done like that that, he, that are not modern are not uh, Victorian are some sort of a mix between the Victorian and the ancient ages my w password for this season well, for the 2022 Christmas village will be mystic guys I want something Victorian, but with some mystic elements. Not elfish, not uh, uh, Lord of the Rings, but some sort of mystic. Some sort of a village uh, that is in between Victorian and, and mystic uh, places. Uh, some sort of uh, n very Nordic Victorian or some sort of a mix between vikings norwegian i don't know i'm crazy i know but uh, i want to go there then i also modeled something for the land part here i will just show you this this will be a fountain guys i i will not show you anything more than this i spent the next the the, the past three months modeling many many things it is my way of doing uh, the, the, a new start, a new fresh starting point. It is trying to model some of my ideas. I generally sketch on some papers my general ideas. Then I go directly on Rhino or um, ZBrush for the organics. And that's all, guys. I will not tell you anything more because I don't know anything more right now. But this will be, I will certainly need, uh, as uh, I'm convinced right now, to redimension some of those parts, getting a little, um, mm, a little shorter, so I will reduce the dimension of everything. And generally, it is common use that the arcs are lower than, are, are not as tall as the figurines, as all Lemax buildings have doors. Uh, that are shorter than figurines. This will be the same thing. So I think that if I move JJ there, if I move JJ under the building there, I think it will be a little too... a little... yes, it, it it's doable, but it is taller than everything so i will not be able to place some figurines on the, under the arcs but here we go and that's the starting point jj here jj here needs to take uh, a leave of absence so i need a, a new companion let me show you how I start uh, making some new companions very quickly. New companion for 2023. And for everything is organic, I don't use a Rhino 3D, but I use ZBrush with the help of a graphic tablet. Last season, my companion was a JJ, the fighting monk. This season, I want a female companion. So I start, I generally start from there. This is um, a 
starting point, a female modeling starting point, and a ZBrush as a male and female starting point, ready to be um, positioned and ready to be rigged and have it posed in some position. And uh, uh, but let's have a look to these uh, uh, to these uh, model here. It is uh, very, very, very similar to human uh, body, and you can see the form, the dimension, the proportion are very well adapted to every single one of uh, 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 models, or if you wanted to do anything. But let me just uh, print this as an STL because I wanted to show you some differences, some macroscopic difference. So uh, I will uh, print it as an STL and I will change software. Here I have uh, my JJ from last season. Let me open the new model I just started doing and what you can see. Okay, let me first uh, make it a little bigger. Uh, let me go 90 degrees in this sense, then let me have the dimensions, no, oh, sorry, no, I don't want, yeah, back, and then let me have the same 8 for the new starting point, 70, okay, what you can appreciate here, the proportion, uh, the new star female starting point is well proportionate with the normal standard uh, body, uh, let me go a little more towards you but you can see that the head is too little for standard figurines JJ has a very big head compared to the standard proportion the standard modeling proportion so standard models are not suited for 3D printing are suited for everything else but not for printing 3D figurines and I'll just have a look to the ends also the hands here are very uh, big for JJ and so let me just have a new starting point yes I will open my new female starting point where I changed the proportion you can see that I've uh, inflated some of the hands the hands have been inflated and the head is no more proportionate I've increased the dimension of the head in order to get a more decent starting point. Let me once again do a, a, a close up to the ends here. Also, the ends have been inflated, so increased. Let me print these as previously. So, uh, let me print these as an STL file ready for 3d printing i will use another name i will use uh, second version in order to not have the same model rewritten uh, on top of it and i will open also this new model here and please oh sorry guys i've exported this too big but once again i will rotate and redimension it as I needed to be dimensioned and rotation 90 degrees okay then a little towards me let me uh, approach the camera and have you take a look to the head now the body is too little in proportion of the head but the head is more similar to JJ so the head is a correct proportion no more proportionate as a real body but a little more proportionate to what I to what you will need for 3D printing. You see that the body is still the same dimension, only the head have been increased. But this is not good, not quite good. Uh, and I will need to reproportion also the rest of the body because the, the arms and the hands are still too thin or modeling and 3D printing uh, figuring that will not break as soon as I put some of my brushes on top of them. So I already have a, new, a standard starting point as I usually use every time and it is what I used last season and what I generally use. Take a look, it is very disproportionate 
uh, if you compare it to the starting point, to the thermal starting point, but these, those are the good proportion for a 3D printed figurine. The, uh, um, the hands and arm, no, not the hands, the arms are a, big, uh, are a bit too longer uh, if you compare them to the standard pro body proportion, the ones dictated by Leonardo in Middle Ages. But uh, and the legs are the body is a, a mix between a standard body and a, a wharf body. Let me print also this version, and uh, then I will show you what it is like. So you need to disproportion everything to get a good, decent starting point for your 3D figurines that will need to be printed if you want to have 3D printed the figurines. Let me just uh, have it 67, yes, and then let's rotate. Those are the correct proportion to start uh, um, a figurine, a new figurine, if you want to start a new figurine. The hands and the head are proportionate with JJ, the uh, arms are long, but you will need to bend them and have them rigged and posed. So this is the real starting point uh, from where I will start every single one. So let me start from here and let me show you uh, the starting point then I will have some music because I will not show you the entire process
Okay, guys, that's all for this first preview. But first time ever, I will show you my new companion right now and not during next season. Some drums, please. And my new companion is her, guys. With the broom, with her companion, a little red with some cheese and having some cheese himself, itself. Okay, I don't know. Maybe it's better if I show you some close view right now, guys. So guys, some details. Here is my new companion. She's a maid and I shown you how I modeled it, but a little surprise here is that I decided to model also a little rat on some cheese, having also some cheese in, uh, in his hands. And the maid is there saying, oh, you stole from me, I will teach you a lesson with my broom. And here is the maid, okay. And a little rat with some red eyes and some little ants, etc. And this is the result of what we have seen me uh, modeling, 3D modeling all along very quickly, obviously, all along this uh, first uh, preview. The new companion, I still don't know her name, maybe you can suggest something, but I wasn't completely satisfied with that. So even something more is that I had a little new lady or so to this scene. Here is the lady, guys. <laughs> Why? Because I wanted a uh, maid very fearless facing a big rat. This is, look at the proportion, a very big rat, but rats were very common everywhere during Victorian times. But this is the lady, guys, that saw for the first time uh, a, a giant rat and fearless the maid, very, very, very frightened the lady, that it is fading. Oh my gee, I'm fading. <laughs> Sorry guys. So this is a close look even to the to the lady that will accompany. This will make I think a, a little micro scene for uh, for themselves. Okay, those two ladies will make a, a scene for themselves. It's not a good um, a good point of view, but for the first time you are seeing my new companion. Good guys, it is really the end with the maid, with her little friend and with the ladies, maybe some scenes having the ladies saying Oh gee, I can't stand the vision of a rat and she's fainting. So guys, excuse my dumbness, but please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and I don't know, maybe soon I will show you something more. Bye guys!